Thank you, guys. How are you? Uh, my name is Aaron Cater. I am I'm from the U.S. Um, my father is Palestinian, and my mother is a Mormon. Any Palestinian Mormons here? <laughs> Those are two groups that hardly come to see comedy, because sometimes Arabs do come. They sit in the back, and they go, yeah, that was very funny. I like jokes. This is seriously very, very funny. I like, yeah, yeah. And Mormons feel guilty when they laugh. You guys know Mormons? The Mormons asked me to be a Mormon missionary when I was about 18, 19. They said, have you thought about going on a mission? And I said, uh, look, to a Palestinian, a mission is a whole different situation. Uh, thanks. We don't usually come back from those, but uh, appreciate it. Um, do you guys think Dr. Phil and George Bush could be related? Do you think it's possible? Do you guys know who Dr. Phil is? I don't know who I'm talking to, I'll be honest with you guys. I don't know who exactly, what we're doing here. Um, do you ever watch, remember when Bush was president, when he would have uh, come to the podium, it looked like he was going to fix the podium? When Bush would approach the podium, he'd go... <laughs> he'd do that thing like he was swinging like a hammer or a, like a screwdriver, like, what are we doing? Remember Bush would get that look in his face like he just realized he was president? Did you ever look at it, watch his press conference, he goes, and then you go, oh, yeah, that's right, I answer questions, questions. <laughs> his very last press conference, they asked him about the economy, you know what his answer was? I'm not an economist. I'm an optimist. I'm like, what the hell is, what the hell kind of conference? Bush was always very confusing because you never knew if he didn't know the answer or if he was just uh, uh, really clever, <laughs> right? Is he dumb or smart? We just don't know. Because you, he'd get a question, and he'd, first of all, he'd get huffy, like, <laughs> like he'd get mad at you for asking a question at a press conference. And then he'd go, let me be real clear. And then he'd give you that look, you know? Let me be real clear. Let's say you want to you wanna get somewhere. If you want to get from point A to point B, you're going to have to walk, okay? Or you could run. Or get on a motorcycle or a car. Or you could fly. Next question. And you're like, what are we... T What's going on here? Thanks for the transportation information. When Bush did it, it wasn't funny. When Dr. Phil does it, it's hilarious, you know? Because Dr. Phil go... You ever heard Dr. Phil go, like, not make any sense? You could shake the tree all day long. That don't mean you know how to bake cornbread. You understand? Like, what? You could walk your bike down the street, don't make it an elephant. What are we talking about? I actually heard Dr. Phil do this one. He goes, you could take a mango seed and then try to grow a tree in your garage. And then by the time it grows up and bears fruit, you could pick it and go out there and try to sell it for 50 cents. But what you need to do is get a job. Why did you got to get mangoes involved? Just tell them to get a job, man. Beating around the mango tree. Being a Palestinian in America is always fun. People always say, oh, really? Where is Pakistilia? <laughs> um, I have a cousin named Jihad. Anybody named Jihad here? Not a good time to be named Jihad. My cousin said he's going to change his name to Raymond. And I said, great, then your name will be Raymond Abdul Majid. Nobody will ever know that you're a Muslim. <laughs> Good call. I always find it fun when I go to the Middle East. I have a lot of family there. Um, I have uh, a lot of crazy cousins, right? Look, when you're Palestinian, you have a lot of, obviously, political, activist, and sometimes Majnuni crazy cousins. And then I have this Mormon side that are equally as crazy. That's why I'm an atheist comedian. But I have a cousin who likes to talk about the, the, the America. America, they think they are so strong, they are so powerful. America is weak. We're driving. I mean, I'm on Jordan with my cousin. He's like, you know, America, they think they own everything. It's not true. It's bullshit, you know. Uh, which hotel are you going? Sheraton, Hilton, Marriott? Where are you going? And I'm like, no, no, no. Say, you, you're hungry? You want something to eat? We got Burger King, a McDonald's, a Pizza Hut. No, you look tired. You want coffee? We got Starbucks. 
You're like a Starbucks? I'm like, no, I don't want a coffee. He's like, okay, but you remember what I said about America. They think they own everything and they will fall. And I said, Fayez, if America goes down, we're going to take Snickers and Coke and Pepsi and Twix. We're not going to leave a trail of Reese's Pieces behind. Right? If America goes down, we take that with us. He goes, no, 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 no. Please uh, leave these things. If you don't, uh, you take the KFC. I don't like honey wings, but leave the Snickers, please. Arabs, there is no, uh, when Arabs do uh, P's, they're B's. And when they do V's, they're F's. And Arabs always like to be VIPs. So that turns into an FIB. A very important person. Um, so you guys know what you're here for today, yeah? This is the final event of the Freedom Forum. This is the, called the Art of Dissent. We have a bunch of amazing artists. I hope you enjoy it. Um, a lot of good performances, some speakers, some guys that I've had the opportunity to get to know, to talk to. And uh, it's going to be... Um, Packed. We're going to pack everyone in into our final event, so I hope you guys really enjoy it and appreciate it and give them a lot of love. And uh, uh, to me, the art of dissent is, is it's my life. This is what uh, I think the first part of the revolution is usually when the artists and the musicians speak out. They're usually the first ones to speak out. It's never the politicians. It's always the artists are the first ones to speak out and usually the first ones to get taken out. But... Uh, it, it should make a country that, if, when, when a country, and or a, let's say a, a government, censors the artists, it should shame them, and it should make them look ridiculous. Because when people can't speak out, make fun of their leaders, it just shows what a hypocrisy you live in. All the performers tonight are from situations similar to that. So enjoy the last session of the Freedom Forum. And uh, we'll go on with the show. Thank you so much. <laughs>